Hello everyone, Glycan here, bringing you another Kaladesh draft. This time it's a single elimination Kaladesh draft, uh, which is a new league that Moto has brought to us. Um, here, picks are between Midnight Oil, Unlicensed Disintegration, and Thriving Rhino. And I think we're just going to try this Midnight Oil. Um, I haven't really had I, I haven't really had a chance to actually play it, but I hear that when the card works it's insane so we're gonna try it out yeah. long tusk cub is one of the best cards in the format so we're just gonna go ahead and pick that up Do -do -do. glint sleeve is also a decent card soul strike is strong but long tusk is just great Could go for the self assembler. I think we just take the doomed operative here. Between doomed appetite, self assembler, maybe sky skiff. I just take the powerful two drop. Aether Theorus is a powerful card as well. Here we'll take G for the foundry. This just goes in every deck. And like. Even if, like, you don't end up swarming with uh, servos or anything like that, even if, like, it's just a three man, it's a three mana play. I'm gonna pump my operative. If I get anything with fabricate, it pumps those. Yeah, just a solid card. Do -do -do. Ooh, here's between these four cards. Privileges is very strong, and this is a late privileges. Um, however, Pillar Bug goes great with what we already have. Especially, Pillar Bug goes great with Operative and Chief at the Foundry. But I think this is a late enough privileges so that we're going to pick it up here. I think we also have the Seed Sculpture to go with our Long Tusk. I'm going to... Ah... I'm going to take the Pillar Bug here, because it looks like we are currently know that we're going to be black, and it's just so strong with these cards. And then we'll just know that we're passing the super late privileges. Here I think we take the Thriving Rhino over the Subtle Strike. Again, this is very close. Thriving Rhino is great with the Long Tusk Cubs. Cell Strike is great with just about all of these cards. I actually think we'll take the Cell Strike here. Not necessarily commit ourselves to a second color yet. Here, there's just actual nothing really for us. Cockworkers Puzzle Knot goes pretty good with Chief of the Foundry. Also take the Sparker Creativity. I think we're actually just going to take this Cockworkers Puzzle Knot. In the world that we end up at with white as our second color, which here are some okay white cards, um, we'll actually pick up the Fragmentize here over the Mastodon or the Hurler. And like a card like Trusted Companion comes back. I think we take the Rush of Vitality over it though. Or I could take the rats. I think we take the vitality. Do, do, do. Here, there's just actual nothing. I could see a world where we want to bring in the puzzle knot. Take the big thing. Scavengers. Dregs. And more dregs. Not the best pack one. Not the best pack one at all. We have five cards we definitely want to play. Six if we include that. And then a couple of white cards and a couple of green cards. Oh, we'll take the Marionette Master. It's pretty solid. 
goes great with just about everything that we have going on right here. Gimme. Hopefully, like, there's a world where it can get Devil come back around, or we'd be very happy even if just a uh, Pillar Bug comes back around. Da -da -da. Fretwork Colony. Goes to take Acrobatic Remover. Construct is okay. Colony is risky. I guess if it's between like colony and the acrobatic maneuver, we just want the colony. Enthusiast is great. And these cards are going great with our Chief of the Foundries as well. And we're going to get one of the like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to get one of these cards back. It's looking like our deck is going to be a great inspired charge deck. If we end up going white. Um, we have two artificers so far. Or we could take a Herald of the Fair. I actually think I just like taking the Inventor's Goggles here. Yeah, I don't hate that. This is what I wanted to see. This card just goes great with the with our Fabricate cards, as well as Fretwork Colony. Yep, definitely pick that up. We also, that's also, wow, that is a late essence extraction. Well, keep taking it. Um, take this Pillar Bug. I think we'll just take the Mastodon. Or maybe we just want the two drop instead, because right now we only have those two for two drops. Could just take the rats. Rats goes okay with like cell strike and things like that. It also helps feed the Marauder. I feel like I'd rather have my first Mastodon before my first rats. All right, here I'll take a gear shift ace. No, probably not playing that, but we'll take it. I don't think our deck is going to be that aggressive, despite the fact that it works well with Midnight Oil because we won't be emptying our hands. Taking our Cell Strike. Cell Strike is great with two Pillar Bugs. Here I'm going to take a Mind Rot for the sideboard. It might just be Mono Black. This is actually an interesting pick between the Scavenger, the Freighter, the Familiar, and the Dragster. <laughs> um, probably they're just taking the Freighter just because it's such a strong card. But we really kind of hope the Scavenger comes around, or, or the Scrounger. Scrounger Marionette, ma ma Marionette Master is kind of a combo. We have one, two, three, four five, six cards out of this pack that we'd just be happy taking. We're just going to take this freighter, though. We have enough cards to fuel it. We also have Chief of the Foundry works excellently with it. 
And I kind of just really hope that the scrap heap. Maybe you just want the scrap heap. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to take the Scrap Heat Scrounger. Because it's a 3-2 it's a two for 2. Yeah, we're going to take the Scrounger here. I feel like this is a deck that will work well with it. Um, Don't actually hate taking the 4-2 this find here. Could also take second Fragmentize. Bloomy Marsh, if we want to maybe try and play the Cub. But I feel like that's not something you definitely want to splash. Or just take Bloomy Marsh because it's a Bloomy Marsh. Yeah, there's really just actually nothing in this pack for us, so we're just going to take the Bloomy Marsh. Get some value. Stomper's pretty strong. Probably just going to take this Die Young. True Negotiation's powerful. Especially since we'll have a whole bunch of one ones around and it's foil so you get double value i also don't hate the puzzle knot here puzzle knot works well with marionette master because this is when uh any artifact goes to the graveyard i think we're just going to take this die young here Do just take another one of these guys. Or the virtuoso. Is a card. Yeah, let's take one of these. Do 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 another rush of vitality I don't hate. Over just about nothing else. There's a thriving rhino. Yeah, I'll take the rush. Kinda wish we had more dune dopper dis or things like that. Another bug. Alpha Squad is also an option. I think we just want another bug though. We got one of these already for the sideboard, right? Right? Yes. So yeah, we'll just take another one of these. Take another hawk. Don't hate take or I don't hate maining the find, just because like we're kind of a deck that's fine just like trading off and then just like solely getting value. Part of me doesn't hate taking this. Not gonna be playing the other things. This is a weird deck. But I think we're just gonna be mono black here. So I think the pick that I'm most regretful of is not taking the uh, Metal Workers Puzzle Knot. Alright, oh, that, that country seems pretty sweet. So, the question is, do we want all these combat tricks? I'm pretty sure we do. And also, how many artificers do we have? We have one, two. So this isn't really as free as it normally might be. We might want to play something like Cogworkers Puzzle Knot instead. Just another creature. It's 
not like there's not enough in white that makes me really want to splash white other than like an activation for bastion module or like using the co cogworkers puzzle knot I think we're gonna go with this and play like two planes or something like that. Or I guess since since we're mono like three planes is just fine. And we have enough artifacts that Yeah. Yeah, let's give it a shot. This deck is weird. I like it. I like weird decks. Uh probably should actually put the lands in. Do three planes and uh, we'll see you for round one with our weird weird deck. <laughs> 